Hello, how are you tonight? My name is Mr. Toro, and I am going to talk to you about a few things in the 1800s. Mr. Gilligan from Garfield High School, your history teacher, asked me to come by and talk to you about how life was a lot different in the 1800s, especially for the women, roles of the women. Think about it. Hmm, you don't know much about it then, because it was over 200 years ago. But I have many friends who lived back then, and it was a lot different. Not like today. You have it so lucky. Women back then were responsible for a lot more. Your mom had a lot harder job. The women had a hard, harder job. Think about food. We'll start with that. The simple household chores. They would have to go outside and grow the food, grow the vegetables, farming. That is how you got your food. There was no shop, right? There was no Popeyes. There was something the blasphemy called pizza mania. No, nothing like that. You didn't sit home on your fat ass. And just order food to come to your house. You had to go outside and grow it and find animals and put them to sleep and eat them and clean them and prepare them for a meal. It was so different. You had to cook them, clean them, take care of them. Get food for yourself and the animals. Now you sit home and you call Grub Hub, and you pick on your phone and you just call all these luxuries that you have that women and men did not have back in the 1800s. Nothing. There was no electricity. There was no central heating, no air conditioning, no refrigeration. There was barely civilization the way we know it today. It was such a different way of life in the 1800s. And women had it so much tougher. They were in charge of the house. Like I said, they grow the food. They had the farming. They made your clothing. They knitted the clothing that you draw. You don't want to go to a mall. There was no Banana Republic, no Macy's, nothing like that. Your mother made your children. Her mother made your clothing, yes, and the children helped you. Your brothers and sisters, families were bigger back then because they needed you to take care of the farm. And women, also, your mother would be your teacher. The schools were so different. There really wasn't the way education was today. Kind of like what you're going through now during this crazy pandemic. You are taught at home. You were taught at home by your parents, assisting with them the way they are assisting you today. You're working on your own because you're high school, but your brothers and sisters are being helped by your parents and your mother. But that's the way it was in 1800. That's the way it was. It was so different. A lot more dependence on your mom, the mothers, the women, with the backbone of America back then. And they still are today. The roles have changed. They have gotten easier, but there's a lot more stress today than then. Life was simpler, but harder. I, my belief in the 1800s, that's the way I think. You think about it. But women had such less rights back then. If women were, women were able to find the job, the money would come home to the parents or the father, the male of the house would get the money. The women would get the money. The women were more like property. They had no rights to vote, barely enough right to work, and they couldn't speak their opinion the way they would today. But we're going to talk about how all that changed. All that changed in time, thankfully for the women the rights of these roles change dramatically. But think about, once again, how lucky you are to be alive in 2020 and have the luxuries that you have. Life was so different back then in the 1800s.
It was harder. There was no supermarkets. The food was a different quest. So think about that. You sleep tonight. Thank you. And I shall talk to you soon. Thank you.